Hey everyone, Danny Webster here from Pocketnow.com, and today I'm going to show you a new thing that I discovered on my Samsung Omnia 2, which a lot of newer devices are actually coming out with, but haven't really been implemented. And we'll go into that right now, and it's actually hidden inside the Windows folder. So I'm going to go into File Explorer, and let me just go up real quick. And I'm actually going to go into the Windows folder. Let me go all the way down to the L. Okay, so before this, you'll actually want to select Menu and click on the Show All Files so that this program will come up. And the program is called LCD Test, so I'm going to go into that right now. And it looks pretty basic. I mean, it just has a couple of um, little tests that you can do. You can do the uh, red and just put the um, Q button back, the green and the blue, so you can test all the pixels on your LCD. You can also check the melody. So right now the device is actually on silent, so if I click on melody, it'll start playing a song. Go back, um, select vibration, it'll actually go into a vibrating mode, so it will stay constant on. I'm going to skip dimming right now because the whole device will get really, uh, really dim. I'm going to make a cam, and what that's going to do is going to turn on the back camera. So if we go on here, um, as you can see, the, the back camera is on. And just go click back, and click on the um, CIF cam, and that's going to actually turn on the front camera. So as you can see, the, the front camera is right there, and there I am. So we'll just close that. And we can also click on the touch. And this is a neat little application that allows you to see that every um, axis and every pixel on your touch screen is actually active. So once you've colored all these green, I'm just going to do it real quick. It's going to say test OK. There we go, and it says uh, touch test passed. So that's good. You can also go onto the light sensor. So it's going to show you how powerful the light is. Right now it's at like a level zero. Um, can't really pick up too much light right now. But when you get in more brighter, set, but when you get into a brighter setting, it actually changes all the way up to I think ten, and it will change, show you the lux level as well. Oh, there we go, two. So you can click OK. You can also go to sleep mode, which just shows that the screen is off. Go back. I'm gonna skip this one for a second. The accelerometer is actually pretty neat here. It'll show you all axes. So if you want, you can also change it. So as you can see, the uh, Windows icon actually changed positions with the uh, X, Y, and Z axes. So just go back. The proximity sensor. So this will activate the proximity sensor on the device. So click here, and proximity sensor is on the top of the device. And this is actually pretty neat because you don't have to touch the device. Um, perhaps in later builds on mobile devices you won't even need to touch your device at all like the screen you can just wave your hand over and it will activate certain programs so click done and then melody, melody received re receiver so you can actually hear it inside the receiver and just go back and the coolest feature that I've noticed on this device which I didn't know it actually had is the compass so it has a digital compass and as you can see because it is digital some sort of interference from devices you have to shake it a little bit kind of like on the new iPhone but it's a digital compass so if you turn it it'll actually pick up on magnetic north through the digital compass inside of the device so that's a really great feature to have especially if your GPS isn't working too great you can always find your way and the last little thing on this LCD test is actually the dimming feature I'm going to go into that right now and that just dims the screen. So the LCD test inside the Samsung Omnia 2 is actually pretty cool to check out a lot of different features, especially that compass. It actually leads me to wonder how many other devices out there have a digital compass that isn't active inside the phone's programs. So I'm going to post a directory on how to get to that program in the Samsung Omnia 2. Thanks for watching.